what's up, Husman here, and welcome to this new development update of my game, Wrath of the Mad King, the sci-fi top-down RPG that I'm working on at the moment. Today's video, we have a lot of cool news for the game. I've been not sitting still the past few months. I've been making some really good progress, and I'm actually working towards the first public demo, which was gonna be in October during Steam Fest. I got an awesome invitation from Steam to showcase my game on there, so I'm really excited. Also a little bit frightened with everybody being able to play the game. So the last few months I've been working on optimization, performance updates, and really making sure that uh, the section that you're gonna be able to play in October works as good as I can get it to work, as good as it's at this moment. And I've been working on really hard and making a lot of optimization, quality of life improvements, a lot of nitty gritty behind the scenes that I'm not gonna bore you with. Just know if something works right, that's because I've been putting a lot of time into it. What I've been also spending a lot of time on is revamping the cave level. There is a cave in one of the first levels in the game and the cave was always a bit empty to my liking. So I really updated the graphics, updated the, the environment to make it more of a stylized feel. I started this game out with a really low poly approach because I didn't know anything about modeling and anything about world design yet. I've been improving a lot on that in the past few months so made the step to make it a more stylized look. Next to the cave being more detailed it's also bigger so more place for enemies, more place for loot for you to find. I think it's a really Really great update for the cave. To continue with the stylized feel, I also gave the animals some fur and some hair because I felt like they were a bit too clean and they might get cold in the winter time. So I added some fur to them to make them a bit more stylized. What I actually did is actually made sure that the fur was exactly the same color as the animal itself. So it really blends in really nice. I think it makes a lot of difference, especially during daytime. You can see a lot of those little hair moving in the wind, which is a really awesome addition to the animals, I think. I mean, there are futuristic animals, but I still want to have them a little bit of a natural feel. One thing I spent a lot of time on was also the UI. I always felt it was a little bit clunky at the moment. So I made it a little bit more streamlined. I also made a lot of sound effects so you can really hear when you're clicking a button, you hear those little details that just make the game a little bit more polished. Same with the quest system, I streamlined that as well. So there's a solid way of you progressing through the story. And it's, uh, it's just those little things behind the scenes that really make the game a little bit more polished. I also work on a shop system. You can now buy items from vendors in Real, the main city of the game. You can buy weapons, gadgets, crafting parts, but you can also buy food and drinks to replenish your health. Another thing that I've been working on is controller support. Now, I'm not sure that I can get it to work as a complete feature for the public demo, but I'm gonna try. But it's actually really cool to play my own game with a controller. I also added like a laser crosshair thing where you can see where you're aiming. And it's just a really cool feature in my opinion. Now, whenever you uh, aim with your right stick, you can see the crosshair and see where you're aiming next to the animation that is being played. And I think in the final game, I'm gonna play it with a controller instead of with the mouse and keyboard because that's, I'm a PlayStation 4 player, so something to look forward to and I'm really happy with how this turned out. What I'm gonna focus on the next month is actually working on the weapons, working on a balancing optimization. It's not the most fun to do these balancing things, but I feel it's really important to take the time to optimize the game so you all can play a really fun demo and really see what the game is about and what I'm trying to tell as a story of the game and what I'm trying to achieve. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in the game, you can wishlist it down below. It would really help me as a developer a lot because that shows Steam that there's interest in the game and then Steam will also promote the game more with in return helps me as a developer of the game. For all the music producers watching this video, I also have a Patreon account where I share monthly sounds, music, Skype sessions, you name it, it's there. So if that's something that you're into, head over to my Patreon account. But that's all for me today. I really hope you're having an awesome week and I see you all on the next video. Take care. Bye -bye.